What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about my top 10 favorite bands. So, just before this video starts guys, I just wanted to tell you thank you for all your support, especially to my new Patreons. I didn't know what to do this week for this week video, so I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite bands. So if you have a song reaction that, uh, that you want me to do, just subscribe to the Patreon, submit your song and I would be more than happy to do it. Alright, so now let's move on to the video. Okay, so, my top 10 favorite bands. That was a tough one because I love so many bands. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky, but I'm gonna try to do my best to, to ask this, que this question like properly. So, number 10, I think, I'm gonna say System of a Down. Well, it's not like about the numbers, guys. It's not about like, for example, if the 10th one is system and number one is you will see this band doesn't mean like i prefer the number one than the number 10 it's just like figure of speech it's just like i wanted to do like a nice list so number 10 i would say system of a down because well that was one of my that was one of the band that i grew up with when i was younger and it was one of the first one and yeah since now i can still enjoying like all of their songs without being bored which is amazing because sometimes you know you when you've got like some breakdowns or something you're like ah, i'm bored i don't know what to listen to just put system you're good to go so yeah i'm gonna say system of a down yeah uh, number nine i would say once human uh same one of the same reason i really love what they're doing so for those who doesn't know once human it's a um, band from the us and it's with now the new bassist of Dragon Force, Damien, um, as a as a bassist, Logan Mader from X Machine Head or actual Machine Head, I don't know, but he's got this band now. Um, Lauren Hart, who's playing with Camelot, yeah, I think she's playing with Camelot now, and yeah, so they've got a band like let's say death metal melodic or something like that. I'm not really used to this. Well, I'm not listening to this kind of music a lot, but I really love their. Uh, their albums they've got two albums the life i remember and uh, gravity i think it's gravity the second one it's been ages since i was listening to this one i should have a listen on them but anyway if you don't know about once human i definitely recommend you to check them out all right number eight will be right now all that remains so it's not the first time that i'm mentioning all that remains on my channel for those who's following me for a while and yeah this band is yeah it's all that remains, you know, I grew up with them same times as System of a Down and from now I'm still not boring as well when I'm listening to them. So yeah, number eight I would say All That Remains and also I had the chance to see them live in the UK. It was like the first time in like 15 years they haven't played played or toured in Europe or something. So I was like, I was really, really happy to, to see them live. So yeah, uh, number seven. As a big surprise, I would say Spirit Box. Why? Because Spirit Box is a really young band, let's say. It's a band with the ex-members of Aristotle the Bear Ones, so the singer and one of the guitarists. And oh man, they are insane. They're insanely good. So if you haven't checked check them out you must definitely go and check them because they are it's gonna be a massive band in a couple of years, I think. They will be massive. I think they're already massive, but they will be more massive, you know. So that's number seven, Spirit Box. And now number six, I would say Kadinja. So yeah, my body is from Kadinja. I love them. <laughs> they are amazing. They're, they're French and they're playing some, some gent, of course, but not a shitty gent, a proper gent, a proper, proper gent. It's mental what they can do. They're all monsters. And they just dropped a new album called DNA. So it's like a cover cover album from like 90s bands, such as like Limp Bizkit and stuff like that. But like gen version, they're, yeah, they're, they're amazing. I love them. And yeah, see them live as well. Definitely recommend. Go on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever and check them out because they are insane. All right, now number five, I would say Butcher Babies, yes indeed, why? Because first, they are lovely people, <laughs> they are lovely people, and second, their music is growing up. 
I really love it because when uh, when I discovered Butcher Babies, it was uh, yeah I, I discovered them on YouTube through a cover they did from Pantera and well both girls were topless and stuff so I was like oh that's fun and then I carried on they they released their first album yeah was it the first album no their first EP were out with yeah fuck. I forgot the name. This is not my name. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the songs. So yeah, they released this this EP first. I was like, yeah, sounds alright, it's fun, blah blah blah, no big deal. Yeah, with Mr. Slow this as well. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, sounds cool. I'm I'm gonna wait for the album, you know, to see how it goes. And turns out, Goliath, the first album, is absolutely sick. <laughs> I loved it. And since then, I'm following the Butcher Babies for now. <sighs> many years 2013 maybe maybe 12 even because yeah i did some covers on, uh, on my channel like way back in the channel so if you want to check those covers please just do it because it's horrible <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, on the when they released their second album, Take It Like a Man, it was a really, really huge step uh, in terms of production, in terms of composing and stuff. It was amazing. It was a nice way. And then they released their latest album, Lilith. And I was kind of a bit disappointed in the beginning because it was not like as massive as the sec first or second album, but. I still like it and one thing I love is because on the from the EP until the second album both singers used vocoders and like vocal treatments so it's like let's say fake voice big fake voice because they're insane live and on the third one they work their ass off so it's not in terms like of like just physics or stuff like that you know they, they work really hard to make it like properly you know and they didn't use any effects at all on the latest album and yeah i'm really happy to to hear that because they're not only like about like physics or stuff like that because come on they look amazing right but they they are talented as well so if you don't know about them check them out as well i definitely recommend um the fourth band i'm gonna say is ah the shoga Yes, yeah, Meshuga, of course Meshuga, because if you're listening to gent music, you obviously have to name Meshuga. So yeah, Meshuga is the same. I started to listen to them when I was yeah, 13 or something, when now Catch 33 was released way before, yeah. But I discovered them through Catch 33, and then Obzen came out, and I felt in love straight away. So yeah, I'm not gonna say any more about Meshuga, because everyone knows him you know meshuga is my number four i guess because i don't really i can't really listen to meshuga like three hours in a row i could but my head would be on fire because i'm not really stable in terms of music but yeah meshuga are the best uh number three i would say ginger yes ginger ginger because right now ginger became a really really important bands inside metal community in my opinion i guess uh, they are absolutely insane yeah studio live whatever they are insane so yeah if you haven't checked it i just did a reaction video just right here on the on their new single and yeah they're absolutely insane in terms of composing technical singing as a person's as well because i had the chance to meet eugene in sweden and yeah they're, they're lovely people they're really lovely and i can't wait to hear the new album macros coming up like i think it's coming during this week right maybe i don't know let me know in the comment section <laughs> Uh, the number two of my list will be Slipknot, yes, because come on, everyone grew up with Slipknot, at least everyone around like 20s grew up with Slipknot, even 30s, so yeah, I grew up with Slipknot, I will die with Slipknot, I love Slipknot, I love their new album, and yeah, the only thing is I haven't seen them live, which is a fucking shame, so don't worry guys. I'm gonna try to make some videos for you in January because they're playing in London in a sold out show which I don't have my tickets which is amazing but yeah I will try to do my best to see them and of course the number one all right I give you the number one guys tell me in the comment section which band it could be I'm really curious I give you yeah five seconds yeah you got it okay so it's corn, of course corn. That's why Jeff Monkey coming from. So yeah, for those who just discovered me on YouTube, so why did I choose Monkey as 
a name stage is just because I wanted to make a tribute to Monkey of Corn because it's about him that I'm playing guitars right now. And yeah, when I when I've seen this video, I think it was 2006 in Rock and Ring with Corn. I was like, wow. No, that was before that. That was their uh, See on the Other Side's live DVD in New York. Yeah, 2004 or five, I forgot. And when I saw that, I was like, man, I need to play the guitar. So yeah, Korn, of course, will be the, the number one for me in my heart. I saw them live, more than happy to see them again. And yeah, I'm a bit disappointed on the new album though. It is what it is, right? But yeah, I still love them because they did amazing content. Well, amazing content, amazing music. So yeah, there you go. Thank you so much, guys for watching this video. That was my top 10 favorite metal bands. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite 10 metal bands. I'm really curious to see the list. For sure, it's not like all the bands that I'm listening to because I'm listening thousands of bands, of course. But that's the one I'm li currently listening as well. So yeah, that's kind of my top 10, let's say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I see you for our next one. Bye-bye.